Well, multiple states are experiencing a serious poll worker shortage. We've been reporting on this. And many of those poll workers attribute their exit to an uptick in political violence. But as early voting gets underway in Georgia, the state is arming thousands of them with a new tool to help protect them. Poll workers in every precinct can text a special five-digit number to report any chaos or concerning activities. The data will then be sent to the county election officers and a command center where law enforcement and other officials will gather that on election day. So the use of this technology is in response to threats made against poll workers during and after the 2020 election. We want to bring in Harold Love. He's a retired Michigan State Police officer, member of the Committee for Safe and Secure Elections, and his committee enforces election laws and policies that protect election workers and voters from violence, threats, and intimidation. Thank you for joining us, Harold. We'll get right into it. Love to know your thoughts on the Georgia government implementing a text alert system. Do you think this will work? Well, good morning, and, and thank you for having me this morning. But yes, absolutely. Um, anything of this nature will, will help uh, in the communication between our elections officials, elections workers, and law enforcement. So uh, with the text, it's, it's having information that's going to a central location that can be vetted and then pushed out to the appropriate authorities to deal with whatever is happening uh, at the poll sites or with the elections official. So as you know, chaos can happen quickly. What do you anticipate will be the response time if something does in fact break out at a polling location? Well, that I, I can't say. Uh, it's gonna vary from uh, municipality to municipality. Uh, if there is something already set up where uh, officials are on alert and ready to respond to incidents, then of course it's going to be quick. Um, this is something that we haven't had to deal with in the past, so uh, we put in the efforts in place to ensure that there is at least a, a method for complaints to be uh, reported and then um, you know disseminated to the appropriate authorities so that they can respond. So we know you've been meeting with local law enforcement in different cities to educate them about election laws. What are some of those laws specific to poll workers that they should know? Well, the laws are going to vary from state to state, uh, but some of the common laws are loitering. Um, uh, different states establish a perimeter around the election site or the polling place where uh, people are not allow allowed to loiter. Uh, intimidation of voters or entering or exiting a poll, intimidation of elections workers, uh, hindering or delaying a, a, a qualified voter from entering a place. Um, and, and those are some of the common laws, but again, it's gonna vary from state to state. So what should voters know when they head to the polls about their rights? Well, they should know that they have the right to uh, exercise their, their, their right to vote, um, their right to free speech, uh, of course, within the boundaries that have been set by, by their local laws. And, and that if they are intimidated or someone is trying to force them to do something um, that, that, they're not, that they don't want to do um, and that they're not supposed to force them to do, then they have the right to make a complaint and that complaint should be uh, investigated or at least tended to by local law enforcement. All right, a really important topic. Harold Love, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.